All right, folks. I don't talk about the election much, but here is something I want you to look out for. And it's also uh, very near and dear to my heart because I have an emotional relationship with this guy who this story is about. Uh, I've never met him. He's never met me. He surely doesn't know my name, but I surely do know his name. I know very little about him except for one sentence that he said over and over again. I know a little bit more. But over the past week, I believe it was, last Saturday, a man named Virgil Good, and for longtime listeners of the Majority Report, you know who I'm talking about. For those of you who don't, he is the former congressman from Virginia who had this to say on the House floor six, seven, eight years ago. I fear that radical Muslims who want to control the Middle East and ultimately the world would love to see in God we trust, stricken from our money and replaced with in Muhammad we trust. I wonder if that fear has abated at all. Or if he still is lying awake at nights, sweating bullets, having to run over to his wallet, pull a dollar bill out, and make sure that it still says, in God we trust. Aside from the fact that, I guess, even if his paranoid delusions came true or were true, it would be in Allah we trust. But uh, never mind. That. And we it's still the same God, too. Yes, but... Uh, so why am I talking about Virgil Good, who hasn't been a congressman for over four years? Well, because Virgil Good is now the Constitution Party's nominee for the President of the United States. The Constitution Party is as nutty as that little quote that we just played sounds. It was founded as the U.S. Taxpayers Party, because, you know, no other people in other parties pay taxes in 1991. And the real point of this is that there's a good chance the Republican, I mean, excuse me, the Constitution Party, which in 2008 got 200,000 votes, will probably improve on that number this time around and will probably get on the ballot in states like Virginia, in states like Colorado, Colorado, or Nevada, no, Nevada, Nevada, one of those states, <laughs> Missouri, and Ohio. Now think about those states. Why do those states sound familiar to you? Maybe you live there. But they're also swing states. So it's going to be very interesting to see what the Constitution Party does to uh, Mitt Romney's chances in this country. Uh, and because, of course, we're talking about Virgil Good, I had to tell you that story.